Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Black Friday? Because if you do, you're doomed. You're all doomed. Or you're really tired. Hey, nerdlings! Chris, the old ass retro gamer here, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Well, do you? This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding. Comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Who doesn't nerd out for some good deals? And Black Friday can usually have some good ones. Now, we do not get up no. at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we also do not cut our Thanksgiving short to go out and hit no, up any because deals. because about family. But on that Friday, once we do wake up, we like to hit up a couple of stores. And hey, if they still got some stuff, we'll find some stuff. For instance, GameStop was our first stop. We did go there first. They had uh, lots of good half price things. They had a lot of good pre-owned, buy two, get one free on certain systems, buy one, get one free on certain yes. systems, and it was all mix and match. So we partook in a lot of those things. Yeah, the buy one, get one free, they had some Wii titles on hand. So uh, I got Snoopy's Grand Adventure and Scribblenauts unlimited i think both of these were under ten dollars mm -hmm. uh so i was happy to grab these just to put them in the collection i mean who doesn't love snoopy and scribble knots i know that uh, they had some pretty good handheld offerings so i'm actually pretty curious to see what a console version is like i also got a couple of wii games i got the incredible hulk and chances are this game may not be much better than the movie but we got it for real cheap <laughs> and Mad Dog McCree. Hey, wasn't Mad Dog from Back to the Future? Oh, I don't think he likes when you call him that. I hate that name. I hate it. You hear? Nobody calls me Mad Dog. Now, the Gunslinger pack here, our buddies, Robert and Wes, over at Gaming Off the Grid, they have really gotten us into light gun games. Pew, pew! So, I couldn't resist on this. The only issue is... It's kind of one of those uh, rental cases, so I do not have the official artwork. The case, I can swap that out. But it did have the booklet, yeah. so I figured for the price that this was at, I would go ahead and get it and worry about that outer art later. That's a face only a mother could love. And I also took advantage of the buy one, get one free deal on the DS. I think they're just trying to kind of push that stuff out Well, the let's door. face it, those prices never really go down for the no, DS games. they don't. So it's the best time to get them because you can get a pricier game when you're getting one free, so it's like you're getting at half price. And that's exactly what I did. Some of these, the price for the game by itself, I wasn't too happy for, but since I got that other one free, it's yeah. like, okay, at half that. price. <laughs> so I finally picked up Super Princess Peach. I have played this one before and it's a shame that I never had it in the collection because it is actually a lot of fun. It's a really great platformer. You know, I still think it's hilarious that the DS cartridges are bigger than the Switch cartridges. <laughs> it still cracks me up. I also picked up the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Now, the reason I never had this in the collection was because Honestly, it didn't look like it was going to be that much fun, and I never heard anybody talk about it. But it was time to give it a go. Captain Algebra tell you it was terrible? Ooh, good question, Cap. I know where you stand on don't the... Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! <laughs> <laughs> on the cell-shaded Zelda and Link. But where do you stand on the games like Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks? Because they have the same kind of toony look to them, or do you just hate that one game? Because we don't want to get banned even on our own channel, <laughs> so we're not going to say its name. The game that shall not be named. I would like to say real quick, personally, I thought the, the graphic design used in Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, I thought it was great for the DS, mm -hmm. the handheld, because when you have those vibrant colors, the bigger sprites, the cartoony expressions and everything, I thought it lent itself really well to a smaller screen. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I also got 
Dragon Quest Rocket Slime. Uh, this was one I think I remember seeing in some magazines. Hopefully future Tom will help me out here. Hey, is there like a DS slime controller? Oh my gosh, that'd be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but I believe that you do battles, and I think in this game they kind of tease you with the whole Chrono Trigger thing by having you fight a tree tank called Chrono Twigger. <laughs> and the last one that I got, since it was buy one get one, so I had to make sure it evened out, was Mario vs. Donkey Kong in Mini Land Mayhem. Now, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong That's games, awful. they're a lot of fun. They're great little puzzle games. They're, they're just fun to play. All of these DS games were cart only. I actually have a ton of cases that I had got from GameStop over the years asking them if they didn't want them to send them my way because what we do is we hold on to the inserts and booklets and everything in case someone needs those but the cases themselves we modify to put all of our other handheld games in yeah. so that they look nice on the shelf. I went through what I had and the only one that I had a case for was Mario vs. Donkey Kong. And it is all complete in there so now he can go right back in. Which the funny thing is that probably was his case to begin with. I often wonder that because I got this game and this case from the same store so is it just finally being reunited? <laughs> reunited and it feels so good! Hey, don't get us a copyright Sorry. strike, please. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out there if any of you guys happen to have the, uh, the rest of the bits that I would need to complete Spirit Tracks, Princess Peach, or Rocket Slime. Let me know, especially if you'd be interested in trading for some other, uh, you know, insert booklet art. You know, maybe we can help each other out, complete something in the collection. Well, I don't want to be left out because I got myself some things. I did the buy two get one free. And I have been really interested in this Detroit Becoming Human game. It looks really, really good, and so I managed to pop on that. There's no booklet or anything like that. Of course, a game like this, a newer one, it's like, did it yeah, ever did even, it even have, have one? one? So I got that. And real quick, didn't we see a cosplay of this at one of the events we were at? Which was funny because it was so simple. Someone had just the little thing up by their head yeah, I think so. <laughs> that lit up. Yeah. And then, because we already had the first one, I got Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek. And once again, nothing on the inside. Gosh, they didn't even do anything I know, on there's the not even the painting on the inside. So I got that. And then, because you can never have too many copies of Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got Friday the 13th for the Switch. Because you have a Switch and I have a Switch Lite. So we can both play together. There's the poster. I love that poster. I know. It's such a great poster. Look at the skulls in the road. Or is that a creek? I like this. <laughs> oh! oh, no. I'm so sorry. Not again. Not like this. That's what I decided to get. I happened to pick up something newer there as well. They had the brand new Medieval for half price. So we did get this one for 20 bucks. And I have been looking forward to revisiting oh, this game anyway. I've been seeing a bunch of people's gameplay on YouTube, and it looks so good. I've been so excited for it. And then when we found out that for Black Friday they were going to have it for 20 bucks. we were like, uh, yep. That was a pretty nice haul we from GameStop. We did a pretty nice haul. But that wasn't the only place we went to. No, we didn't have as much luck, but we did hit up our local Vintage Stock and Entertain Mart, which is a, uh, I guess, like a subsidiary of Vintage Stock. Mm -hmm. It's owned by the same people. Unfortunately, I don't feel like they had as many good deals going no, on. They, they had didn't. a few deals, but... It was basically uh, whatever red tagged was buy one, get one free, and there was like maybe three things red tagged. It, it was hard to find some red tag <laughs> things. Regardless, though, we did still find some fun things. Why don't you lead us off on this? Well, one? this was not on sale, but I thought it was super cute, so I wanted to get it. So it's a little spiny from World of Nintendo, and you know we don't leave things in the box. <laughs> He's upside down. I can jump on him now. 
So yeah, he's so cute. His little feetsies move. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty Look neat. His little feetsies. They don't even need to. That's Does great that though. He can, like, just... he can get all hunched up. He's kind of pointy. Like oh, really pointy. <laughs> but I thought <laughs> he's adorable. <laughs> oh no, Mario's gone. <laughs> The one thing I did get that was buy one get one free was some Funko Pops. Funko Pops! Funko Pops! And I really wanted this one and then I had to walk around the store trying to find another one that was actually, there was a lot I wanted, but there was only one, a couple on the red sale. Yeah, every time she would find a Funko Pop she wanted, wrong tag. And there they are! All right, now, the reason I loved Etta, because I thought it was hilarious in the movie when Diana and Steve were going to go off to do something, and Etta was like, ah, ugh, you really can't take the sword and shield with you. So she just hands it to her. And so you've got this prim and proper dressed British woman holding Princess Diana's sword and shield. And that, I just thought, was hilarious. So... I love that one. And then we got Ruby from Ash vs. Evil Dead. So Played by the ever-lovely Lucy Lawless. I was going to say, love me some Lucy Lawless. And I liked her character. It was a lot of fun. And she's got a little bloody knife on her. And, you know, just had some fun Funkos. Ruby, don't take your love to town. Well, for starters, I got something kind of boring. Just to Kinda add to the collection, too. it is a uh, Sega Game Gear battery pack. They had this, I think it was four bucks. And yeah, first of all, the size of this thing is nuts. And the weight, the heft behind it, I mean, you could just like grab it by the cord and, and use it as a weapon in battle, which I Good think Good to know in the zombie apocalypse, yeah, this is yeah, going to be our weapon much. of choice. <laughs> <laughs> just. Da -da 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 I love how it's got a belt clip on it, because you're going to put it on your belt and walk around with it. Yeah, <laughs> kind of walk, like, <laughs> being pulled to one yeah, side. I was say, you would need two of these just to balance out. <laughs> then you'd be like a gunslinger. <sighs> Battery slinger. I see your game gears out of power. Let me help with that. <laughs> 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 Power at four hundred percent capacity. How about that? <laughs> and then I did happen to find a couple of games. Again, this and neither of the games were on sale, but they were really good prices. Basically, the only thing we got on sale were my Funko Pops. So I found where in the world is Carmen San Diego for the Sega Master System. No booklet, but the cartridge looked pretty nice. Of course, it's got that weird, miscolored label. What's yeah. up with that, Sega head? And sadly, somebody cut out the barcode. I, told us that I wonder if it was like a mail-in rebate kind of a thing, or like you joined a club. A lot of times they did a lot of clubs with Carmen San Diego and stuff. But from the cover, as you can see, they're driving a hyper-realistic version of Benny from Who Framed Roger Rabbit while Dick Tracy is shooting them. And they're driving through a necklace portal. And I think that necklace is the same one from Titanic. No, that one's blue. And then the map on the background is obviously some kind of outbreak from the tabletop game Pandemic. We've got a lot going on in this game. <laughs> the other game that I picked up was for PS2, Ninja Assault. And this is a GunCon 2 light gun game. Again, thanks to Robert and Wes, had to go for the light gun. Got it complete. I have no idea if this game is any good. Hopefully, those fine gentlemen will drop a message down below and say, oh yeah, we've played that one. It's awful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they were good prices, so had to go ahead and add them. And I mean, if it is good, then yes. Yay! And there you have it, nerdlings. Look at all this stuff. Uh, lots of Nintendo love for sure. But uh, just a little bit of PlayStation. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And, and some Sega. He's He's... Peeking out. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, we only went to these small places because I got hungry. <laughs> <laughs>
But nerdlings, we would absolutely love to hear about any deals you happen to pick up on Black Friday or just any time. We, we're suckers for good deals no matter yeah. what. So let us know what you think of any of these finds as well as your own finds. Hit that notification bell. Make sure that you subscribe and... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And nerdlings, if we like it... We beat zombies' brains out with Sega Game Gear battery packs with it. It's domino effect! Ah! Game over. <laughs>